As China continues its blockade of Taiwan in the international arena, the U.S. Congress has reached a consensus on an annual defense authorization bill. The two houses of Congress reportedly agreed to strengthen Taiwan's self-defense capabilities, including expanding arms sales and joint military exercises. There is also a provision calling for senior-level military-to-military exchanges pursuant to the Taiwan Travel Act. President Tsai received foreign experts and scholars in the presidential office today, continuing the dialogue that began yesterday at the 2018 Asia-Pacific Security Conference. She reiterated Taiwan's stance and addressed China's continued aggression. China has been expanding its sphere of influence both militarily and diplomatically. Not only will this aggression alter the status quo across the Taiwan Strait and lead to contention, it also poses a serious threat to the security of the East Asian region. As China continues to dangle both carrot and stick in front of Taiwan, the U.S. House and Senate have reached a deal on the National Defense Authorization Act, which contains provisions on Taiwan. Reports indicate that the finalized version keeps intact almost all the articles concerning Taiwan-U.S. military exchanges that were prescribed in the Senate's version. That means the bill recommends enhanced cooperation on Taiwan's defense, arms sales to Taiwan, and high-level military exchanges as allowed by the Taiwan Travel Act, such as U.S. participation in the Hanguang military exercises. Once the relevant issues of the two legislative houses come to light, the next phase will likely see coordination over inviting Taiwan to take part in RIMPAC. In the face of Chinese aggression, this development in the U.S. Congress raises the question of whether Taiwan has a role in U.S. President Trump's free and open Indo-Pacific strategy. Trump's plan requires all participants to be autonomous states, and so visiting U.S. experts advise Taiwan to act fast and voice its desire to participate in the alliance.